it YouTube I'm back and we're doing another one <laughs> and this is going to be entitled um, about your person and um, what's going to happen about them hurting you you know what's going on here about them hurting you what's 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 going up going on let's see what their uh, energy is and for all of us all of us empaths all of us um, high priestess that brings on the energy not calling us that but we embody that energy um, all the empaths all the high priestesses all the empress and empress emperors and empresses the um, uh, the bond feminine and bond masculine that's what the emperor and empresses is um, And we know that no evil formed against us shall prosper, okay? No evil against us, uh, formed against us shall po prosper. We send that shit back to the Most High and let them deal with them, okay? And let them uh, reverse that stuff because we are highly protected. We are um, highly protected and highly favored, you guys. So there you go. All right. Let's begin. Wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Gotta put some pimp in there. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. I'm back. Uh, so, first of all, we're going to look at the possible signs of the person who hurt you, my dear collective. Let's look at some of the signs that may be of the person that hurt you. Spirit, what, who, is this, who is this person for the collective that hurt them? We got a Leo. Possibly got hurt by a Leo. Possibly got hurt by a Gemini. Possibly got hurt by a Pisces. Let's get two more. Spirit, reveal to us the possible signs. Then this is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, y'all. That uh, hurt the collective. Hurt our beautiful empaths. And left them to, to fend for themselves. Who, who are these people? There's a lot of them that fell out here. Some of y'all, it's a Virgo that hurt you. Or a Virgo that's suffering or something at this time. One more, please, Spirit. Who are these people? Who are these low vibrational energies? Like, you know, all signs ain't, you know, we know that already. We all got a sign and shit like that. But everybody ain't the fucking divine. And that's just the truth. Everybody ain't divine. They use energies and they, you know... Mercury, I think so. The hermit, so definitely there's a Virgo because it came up twice. Definitely that hurt or going around hurting people or doing some shit. All right, and then we got the Pisces, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and we got the Gemini. All right, and we got the Leo card. So that may resonate to some of y'all again. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. These are low vibrational energies, okay? Because they're the ones that hurt you. That's what I ask, Spirit. Who are these people that hurt the collective? So these are low vibrational karmics. That's what the fuck they are. They're karmics. Now, I ain't saying every sign is, is a karmic. It's just these particular ones that I ask, Spirit, to bring out that hurt you guys. You understand that? Okay, Spirit. What's going on with this? the, the ones that we talked about? Let me put... Yeah, this is what I'm going. I'm going to break them all down, okay? I'm breaking them all down. They all might be going through different lessons. We said a, a Leo, Gemini, Pisces, double Virgo. Who else did we say? It was, was that it? Did we say Leo too? I think we said Leo. I'm not sure. What is this? Okay, so we got these characters, these low vibrational energies. And we're going to tap in. So it may be along with y'all, so get your popcorn, cookies, whatever it is that you do. Okay, so let's look at this um, this Leo who is a karmic and 
done all this stuff to the collective. Let's see what what's going on. It came right out. So the Leo has a third par party. Okay, they, they they got a third. The third party is watching, stalking, or spying. Well, not this. This is somebody who's all up in your Kool Aid here. This Leo. They're all up and say he's watching you. They stalking you, okay? This person could be a little off in the head, all right? Okay, let's look at the Gemini. This this uh low vibrational uh karmic Gemini. What are they what they doing? What's what they got to say? What's going on with them? The one that hurt the uh collective. Now this sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This Leo is a sun, moon, rising, Venus as well. What's this Gemini? I think there was another one out here. I'm not sure, but I think it was. If I, mm, I hate to miss it. And I'll throw one more out here because I think it was another one. Oh, the Gemini is saying, I miss you. This is a direct message. See that? And these cards are Mystic Goddess Confessions. I love these cards. I love them. The, the energy is good on them. They're very truthful, straight and to the point. Thank you, Mr. Goddess. You did a damn good job on these cards. Thank you so much. So y'all head on over to her. Um, they sell out. As soon as she get them, they sell out because I had been waiting for them. And I finally gave me a notification. I jumped right on it. So, yeah, go on over to, you know, she got her channel, the Mystic Goddess and stuff. She's really good. She got a good following and everything. I love her readings and things. So, and get her deck here. It's very, I love them. And so, this is the direct message to you from your person's energy. So it's important. This person wants you to know that they miss you. This just Gemini does. All right, now let's look at this double Virgo. I'm, I'm going to do them separate, I guess. I, I don't know. Oh, boy. Okay, so Virgo number one, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, I'm going to separate them because <clears throat> somebody's in... Um, So there may be two type of, of karmic Virgos going on here. Okay, so let me just do them separately. That's what Spirit said. I just heard that. All right. Thank you, Spirit. And this is, uh, he's saying, um, this Virgo person, well, now this could be male or female as well, y'all, but they're all, they're all karmics. They're all the ones that hurt you intentionally. So it's saying appearing nonchalant, pretending to be unbothered. Yeah, so we got a Virgo out here that's pretending pr that, like that's what gets them in trouble anyway. They like to pr pretend and put up false faces and masks and shit. So they pretending and acting like they nonchalant about the shit. Well, just let them go ahead and pretend then. That's on them, not you. Okay, what about this other uh, Virgo in the Mercury energy? Somebody's in their Mercury uh, right now and they own... Um, element what about this other Virgo who is this what about this other Virgo person who is this what is it what's going on what they got to say what do they got to say okay this one wants to come out I've been trying to make you jealous wow god damn what is this this is some ego somebody's got a big ego here these Virgos, uh, low vibrationals, got egos. They got ego problems. I've been trying to make you jealous, and it's a direct message as well. So this motherfucker is this. This is what they doing, on purpose. Okay, direct message, direct message to you from your person's energy. Important message. Your person wants you to know is I've been trying to make you jealous for fucking what? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one more out here because I'm sure that there was enough. But we're gonna see anyway, spirit. If I miss one from what we pulled, can you can you put them back up on the board, please? Can you put them back on the board, please? Can you put them back on the board for us? Because maybe that was meant to happen. I don't know. A Sagittarius. Uh, they're in their element as well. Uh, this low vibrational Sagittarius, this karmic Sagittarius who hurt you. Okay, um, they're on. They're uh, they're. They're in their Jupiter. They're in their um. So this this is probably okay. We got a Virgo here that is 
in their element and we got a Sagittarius that's in their element and then we got a, a, a Virgo that's just out there period y'all see me shuffle the cards all right yeah so somebody is flexing in two people are flexing in their um in their uh, ruling planet, which is Jupiter. So that's Sagittarius. Okay, Spirit, what they got to say to the collective? What they got to say for their ill behavior, their mistreatment? What do they have to say? What is it that they got to say that they not saying? What is it they have to say? We got two people out here that has a direct mess. No, yeah, two people with a direct message, all right? Somebody's spying on someone, which is a uh, a Leo. Somebody saying they miss you, which is a direct message from a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Gemini. Uh, appearing nonchalant, pretending like they don't care, is the Virgo. I'm sorry, the Pisces. I'm sorry about that. Did I say Virgo? I'm, I'm sorry if I said that. That's a Pisces that's doing that. If I said Virgo, I'm sorry. I thought it was two of them out here, but it's not. It was a Pisces. I apologize for that. Take that first message back. It was a Pisces. My bad. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And this, this direct message, they've been making you jealous from this Virgo energy. So there's just one Virgo out here. Pisces. And now we got the Sagittarius. What are they trying to say? I apologize for that. I didn't look at it right. My bad. Forgive me, y'all. So, this Sagittarius is saying fatal attraction. I can't have you. No one else can mentally. So, they're saying mentally. So, I'm feeling like this person is, um, they may be doing something uh, to scatter your mind. Keep your mind on them or something like that. You know, when they saying mentally, they holding on to you mentally. So they help, they hanging on to your energy. Okay? So there we go with that. Let's look at something else. Okay, so when it comes to this Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what are the messages? When it comes to this Leo, what's the messages here? This karmic Leo, what's the messages? This one that's been, uh, that messed over the uh, collective. What's the energy? What's the energy? What is, what's the messages here? What's the messages? What's their energy that they, that needs to be said for this Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus who messed up on the, car, uh, messed up on the collective? done something wrong to the collective it says throw shade being rude towards someone not being uh, liked by someone insults slick and uh, disrespectful so somebody you know they acting up right now they stalking you and watching you they may be you know talking about you throwing shade at you is talking about somebody somebody you know this person this leo energy is talking bad about you behind your back that's what they're doing okay let's get with this uh gemini person sun moon rising and venus what the hell they what's up with them talking about they miss somebody what what what's the messages what's the messages What's the messages? What's their energy? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Gemini karmic here who done the mess to the collective. What's the messages? What's the messages, spirit? What's the messages? Wow, somebody, <laughs> somebody got a lot to say, but they ain't saying it on this channel. I'll tell you that much. Got something to say, you need to go directly to the person that you hurt, Gemini karmic. Not every Gemini. Y'all know that. I said, D, I asked Spirit, who are the karmics energies possibly uh, that's dealing, uh, mess with the collective? What? And they showed it to me, okay? Oh, so they want to do manipulation, huh? They, they twist the facts by altering reality with lies or um, mis, 
misstatements in order to confuse you. So this person is trying to manipulate you or thinking about manipulating you. Look at them biting their own fucking, they biting their own tail or biting their own. This is crazy. So you got somebody that's manipulating. They, they miss you so much that they're willing to use, man. instead of healing their self, Instead of healing yourself collective, they want to manipulate you, okay? Trying to manipulate. See how these karmics act? See how they act? They ain't still ain't straightening the hell up. They still, even though they're going through karma, even though spirit been whooping that ass, they still want to come up with these tactics, okay? So let y'all know. Okay, so now we're dealing with uh, Pisces, appearing nonchalant, okay? What else is the message? It's like humble brag. Humble brag? Don't be so obvious. Read between the lines. Self-promoting, uh, disgusted brag. So, I don't know. I'm getting the feeling like this person may be a bit shy or something like that. Yeah, yeah. With the nonchalant, they appearing and acting like they don't give a fuck. Trying to be unbothered, but, you know, yet alone, you know, kind of putting a little little shit out there about, you know, bragging and stuff, trying to keep it, like, innocent, like, they innocent, but they're not, they're not, okay, what about this, um, this Virgo person, this low vibrational Virgo energy, this karmic Virgo here, uh, they've been trying to make you jealous, that's a direct message right here, it says it right here, they directly telling you they've been trying to make you jealous, so what's going on with this Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, who's a karmic? What else do you what 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 else messages can you give us, Spirit, regarding this? What are the other messages, Spirit? With this Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, who's who's trying to make somebody jealous? The fuck? Spirit, give me the messages, please, for this Virgo who's done the collective wrong, knowingly, willingly, and everything. Now, uh, they trying to make somebody jealous. Why? What the fuck is up with that? What's the rest of the messages here? What's going on? Mm, they don't even want to talk. <laughs> the Spirit going to bring it out. Spirit, can you give me the information on this person, this karmic Virgo that's here? This karmic Vir Virgo energy. What, what, what? Oh, man. This many? No. They got bad motives. Okay, that one. They told me to get another one. I don't know. Oh, there it go. Because it came out, but I just didn't catch it. So, <laughs> I don't know what this Virgo person up to. Okay, this karmic Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That hurt you. All right? That hurt you and trying to get away with something. They've been trying to make you jealous. There's one that's a direct message from this person's energy. Remember, we're talking about energies here. Lies, 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 lies. It's funny because this was on top of the deck and it fell out. Control. In order, in effort to control your behavior, they lied to you. Wow. This is a control freak. Somebody got some control issues. They're wearing a mask. They're not, you know, they're masking and raiding around. So they want to lie. They've been lying to you collective, this uh, low vibrational Virgo here, and they've been using tactics like, look, been trying to make you jealous and then going to tell lies to you to try to uh, control this whole situation. So, you know, this person's got bad motives, okay, this Virgo. Spirit wanted two of them to come out, so here it is. They're scheming. They are making a uh, secret and um, underhanded plan. So, you know, y'all better be careful of this person, this Virgo energy. Um... Because they lie and then they scheme. They're a liar and a schemer, okay? And they're trying to make you jealous. They're trying all kind of tactics here. This person is uh, like a, um, what they call them? Like a trickster. This person's a trickster. And you know Virgo's energy, and, and uh, if they're dealing on a low vibrational, they're uh, the, 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 the magician in the fucking deck. A Gemini and a Virgo. That's their energy right there. So go figure. This is a negative, low vibrational, karmic Virgo energy here, along with the rest. It's not every Virgo. It's the ones that's been doing uh, the uh, the collective wrong. So we got, um, uh, who is this? Sagittarius. They got a fatal attraction. If nobody can have you. No, if they can't have you, no one will. So we got some, we got a crazy one out here. We got two real serious, well, all of them kind of crazy, but 
there's somebody here you know very clever they they using their clever they're using their uh, this person could be very very smart and intelligent and you have to be on your game with this person because this person um they know how to they got games and tricks up they sleeve like i said virgo's energy is the uh, mercury energy which is the magician and the hermit as well so this person been sit back thinking and propping and scheming and scamming and shit and i guess you know because they try to make you jealous and this one with the sagittarius with the fatal attraction they mentally holding on to your energy it says cheating the narcissist they cheat to uh feed their own ego and feel entitled <laughs> very selfish energy here this person is a narcissist that y'all dealing with this sagittarius sun moon rising and venus y'all leave y'all um comments Okay, so we're going to uh, dive, dive a little bit deeper. What's the messages from the heart? What, what, are, they, what are they truly feeling here, spirit? Uh, after they taken the collected through all this nonsense by the way they act. What are these karmics? What's in their heart? Do they have a freaking heart? Do they even have a heart? Okay. Let's hit let's get one on spirit. Can we get one on the um the Aries? I mean the Leo, I'm sorry. For the Leo, Sun Moon Rising and Venus, this Leo karmic that done the um collective wrong. Can we have that? Can we see what's in their heart? What's going on? 21:45 on the clock for some of you. That makes sense. Look it up, see what that's trying to tell you. So they got wow, well, no, I can't take all of these. Let's see what's on the bottom. Uh, sexual union. Their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their uh, memory of feeling so close to you. That's what that. That's what's in their heart. Um, collective for those dealing with the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus karmic. So, we're going to take a look at what's on the heart for the um, for the Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I miss you, but they're, in manipula they're manipulating. Now, what's in their heart spirit for the Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Karmic. Okay, spirit, what is the energies? What's in the heart for the Gemini karmic? Here we go. Love is a fire. You set their heart on fire in the soul ever uh, burning and un unquenchable. It's a natural and inevitable connection. So, yeah, this person, they're obsessed with you. They miss you, this, this karmic Gemini. They miss you because that's the direct message. But they're using manipulation because they don't want to heal themselves. They know nothing how to do operate but off of man manipulation. They're, they're, they're trying to get to you in the wrong way. But, you know, they, they're saying, you know, again, that they love you. But I feel like they're obsessed. Look at that person's eyes. They, they're really obsessed or something. They really got their heart set on you here. For the, the karmic Gemini does. Okay, now let's look at the, uh, the Pisces energy. Spirit, can you give me the Pisces karmic energy? What's going on? Okay, here we go. Music. Music brings them closer to you. Certain songs remind them of just how special you your connection was to them okay yeah see they appear appearing nonchalant though right 
that's that's the mess. That's their energy here. They they appear in Ashland acting like they don't care. Okay, this Pisces uh, karmic energy here. Okay, but you know they try they humbly bragging. You know what I'm trying to say? Keeping it on the low low. But then you know when they listen to music, all they think about is you. Okay, let's look at this Virgo. What's what's going on with the karmic Virgo? That that did the uh, collective wrong. What what's what, what's in their heart? What's 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 <laughs> what's in their heart? What's the messages from their heart though? What's really in their heart? Sun moon rising Venus sign for the karmic. Here we go. Resistance. They need time to answer the call of their soul and step into higher levels of consciousness. Okay. So they still been in their, you know, doing their little karmic ways here, or maybe they just have a, uh, a w aware of what they've been doing. They've been trying to make you jealous. They trying every trick in the book, but it's not working. You know, they telling lies in order to keep you uh, around them. A, a lot of this could be, you know, this this person's uh, a karmic and low vibrational because they have, again, they got some healing to do. They got to heal this because, you know, they got bad motives and stuff. They try to plot and scheme and plan their way into a relationship all the time. So, you know, Spirit is saying this person needs time to heal. They're going to have to heal in order to come to or even be in a relationship at all. This Virgo uh, karmic going to have to heal for sure. They got to get out of these these tactics that they use out of, out of fear, or they you know kind of got a um, this person um, is afraid of rejection. That's what's wrong with this person. They got to get out of that fear so they can stop using these stupid tactics in order to get in a relationship because all it does is backfire. That's all it does. It might work for a minute, but then you know it gets fucking old because you know. They just do the same thing over and over and over again. People get hip to it. How many? How, how much energy do you have to just run from one person to the, another with the same fucking energy? You know, you're going to kill your damn self doing that. Okay, let's get to the um the, the Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on? What's in the heart of this Sagittarius? This karmic Sagittarius, what's in the heart of? What's, what's in their heart? What do they really want to say? That they can't because they so they too tied up in their karmic energy. What is it? Only you know this spirit. Only you know. These these karmics won't say nothing like that. But spirit can bring it out. That's for sure. Spirit can say what they they ain't saying or refuse to say because they're in their little pride and ego. All right. So this one says divine intervention. They are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's it's helped. Then gain clarity on this connection. Okay. All right. So their insecurities is that they, you know, um, and these people that are afraid to get hurt, they res they result to, this is why they result to some of these things that you see in here. It's because they haven't cleared their energy. They haven't um, healed themselves possibly from whatever it may be that they're holding on to they have to let it go so they can you know be in a healthy relationship and that's what this um, Sagittarius is doing you know they, they like to do fatal attraction shit you know in their low vibration in their lower self that's why they become a karmic so you know they cheat to try to you know um, the feeling that's going to uh, take the pain away but it's not that's why they're going into some kind of uh, healing now you know they're getting divine intervention from the divine, from the Most High for 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 that for the uh, Sagittarius, uh, you know for you look you Sagittarius out there. I hope y'all get your help. I really do. Hope you get your help. Some of y'all karmics are may just do that. There's some type of divine intervention now. Whether you take that and listen to it, Spirit says that you are for some of you. That's that's done this. Uh, that's being a karmic right now. Okay, let's look at the issues. Let's look at the issues. We're going to look at this Pisces. What's their issues? Let's get an answer. What's their issues? We've seen what's in their heart. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit, for this information. Thank you. Now, let's see what their issues are. Okay. For the, um, for the Leo, we got two-faced. 
acts fake around others, wears false self masks. It means false self made mask here. So they're, you know, their issue is that they're not being true to themselves. You know, they're being, you know, double sided. They got two, they got double sides here. And, it, it, you know, they're wearing a mask. That's their issue. All right. Their issues is that they're wearing a mask. Their heart is like, um, uh, they feel sexually tied to you. They love the way y'all make love or something like that. They love the intimate moments, okay? But, you know, then again, they're throwing shade at you. And this is their karmic, and this is their karmic side, you know? And they're, you know, study watching you. It's like, this is like a, a, a love-hate relationship with this person in their karmic energy right now. Okay, what's this? What's the um, Gemini? What's their problem? What's their issues? What's this Gemini issues? Mm. They all messed up, whoever this Gemini is. What's the Gemini issue? This Gemini issue, this karmic Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on? Oh man, my screen went dark. It's, don't usually do that until I'm finished. Thirty-one seventeen on the clock, y'all. I'm getting ready to wrap this. Okay, too, too tired. Always tired and never uh, wants to do anything. <laughs> so this Gemini is lazy as fuck. You know, they lazy. That's their issues. They really lazy. Um, all these, this person seems like a dreamer. They miss you. All right. This karmic Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You know, they do a lot of manipulation. Manipulation is a sign of being lazy too, because they don't want to put any, they rather put their energy in manipulating rather than just do, do, do what they need to do. Um, and they dream about y'all sex life and all that. They look at that as that, you know, they dreaming about it. So, and then they too tired. They, they, they lazy as fuck. They don't want to put in the work. They just want to sit around and dream about shit. All right. So let's look at this Pisces. Let's look at this Pisces 32, 32, 19 on the clock. See what's up with that number Pis uh, collective. Okay, so what's their issues? This karmic Pisces. Some immature, childish, hasn't grown up, hasn't grown the fuck up. So this person needs to grow up. Yeah, because they are acting immature here, appearing nonchalant. That, that's immaturity right there, like acting like they don't care. You know, on the low, you know, kind of like hating kind of on the low. You know, they listen to music. They listen to the all favorite music and shit. All right. And they're just acting totally immature about the whole situation. Okay. So let's look at this Virgo. Let's look at this uh, low vibrational karmic Virgo here who's done the collective wrong, who's done some, you know, some shady shit. Plotting, planning, and scheming. This is the type of person is like a, um, like I said, they smart, but they too smart for their damn selves. They ain't using their smartness in the right way. So too soon, fell in love too fast. Okay, so their issues here is, and I, like I said this before, this is a type of person that goes around, and this is a habit of theirs. No matter what relation that they get into. Their karmic energy and their, you know, that's why they're staying in a low vibrational because they play games. I've been trying to make you jealous. They got bad motives. They always plotting, planning, and scheming and shit instead of being their self. Their resistance against shit. And that's their uh, message of the heart. They, 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 you know, spirits trying to uh, talk to them. Spirit's still trying to talk to them to get out of this fucked up energy, you know, but and they tell lies in order to try to keep somebody around or think they're going to get them, you know, and it's just too soon. 
and this is the type of person they fall in love too soon this person is a type of person this this virgo energy low vibrational karmic is a type of person that you know if somebody give them some type of attention or something and they they just jump right on it you know what i'm saying they jump right on it and and they take sex for um for love and that's not the way to be that's why spirit's trying to talk to this person i, I don't think they listen yet i think they're still in that energy but they're going to be forced to one way or another, they're going to have to. Or just be alone all their life. I mean, I'm quite sure when you get an older person, you can't be running around acting stupid like this. Can't hold on to those energy. Although some people do. Some people go their lifetime like this. They, they live their life in fear. And these are the things that they resort to in order to get attention. Or feel like they need to, to get attention. Or, or, or keep matters in control because... Because this person is, they, they got fear issues. They're fearful of something that they're not letting go. So they result to these tactics. So let's do this Sagittarius. No sex. Little to no sex. So, you know, okay. <laughs> this person, the fatal attraction, cheating. They got cheating down here. Narcissist. Uh, they're going through a divine intervention and they may be celibate at this time. I feel like that's what Spirit is saying. So they're not doing nothing at this time because, you know, they're going through the dark night of the soul. All right? For this, uh, this Sagittarius person. Yeah, they're in their element right now because it came up as them being in their, 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 their house. I'm sorry, their, their planet, which is Jupiter. Okay, what else we got, Spirit? Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Hold on, y'all. Do I have them out here? Pull some tarot, y'all. Oh, okay, let me do this first. Okay, let me get some messages here. Spirit, what are the messages that you have for these karmics out here, or the, the or the uh, collective? Relaxation and a pre uh, acceptance. So I feel like some have to, you know, they need to. Some these karmics need to relax and accept the fact of what they've done and try to heal themselves. Or this is saying you, uh, collective, are you know just relaxing and, ex and and accepting all of this, or accepting the way this situation is. What's the message, of spirit? Somebody, some of y'all in in, in re accepting, some of y'all just relaxing, doing your own thing, chilling. Some of you just accept the fact that you're, whoever this person is that y'all dealing with, any of these signs we just call that's doing this, you're just accepting it. Like it is what it is. Uh, gentleness. So, I feel like some of y'all are very com still compassionate. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you know, just be careful. Uh, uh, and, you know, be careful if these any of these people try to return it's okay you don't have to be riled up or mad or anything like that you can deal with people especially after you accept and know who they know what they are about and how they approach things and still just go ahead and be relaxed and calm about it you know and you'll keep your gentleness it's like you know this is a time for gentleness even though this person these people done you wrong 
it's still a time for you to remain gentle, remain in your own power. Don't let this person uh, or any of these people uh, trip you out and turn you cold. You don't, mm -mm. you just go with the flow. That's what you do. You go with the flow. That's what you do. Yep. Go with the flow. And, you know, and keep your contentment. That's how you're going to stay content. Content with yourself is just go with the flow. Keep your, the gentleness about yourself. Accept these people for who they are and what they've done. And just relax. Just relax. No sense in it's It's, it's it is what it is. <laughs> I don't know we want to pull tarot or not. I don't know. I don't want to get into one of those stories. Which I know where it's going to go at. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do this first. Get some oracle. Holy Spirit, what are the messages? What's the messages? Holy Spirit, what's the messages? What's the messages? What's the messages here? What else did you want to the collective to know about the karmic and their energies? Wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. So with this Leo energy, rewrite your life story to how you would like it to be. Release, release, feel peace, new, um, feel peace now. Sorry, y'all. These words, I don't know. Sleep subliminals so i just feel like they're trying to say you know y'all you know straighten it up here karmics like rewrite your story or they could be even talking to the collective like rewrite your story make something different don't keep doing the same things over and over you know um do meditations what they're talking about you know subliminals and stuff like just change your ways is what i'm saying Rewrite your story. Change your ways. That's what Spirit's trying to tell you. Change your ways, karmic. You karmic uh, <laughs> um, Leos. Now, you karmic Pisces. What's the messages? I feel like these are direct messages to the karmic. <laughs> missed opportunity. So, Pisces, I feel like in your situations, you karmics here, you missed the opportunity here, and you know it. You know, you got regret. Um... You got regret from a formal relationship. Okay, don't run if it feels right. Risk of loss. Communication is in, in, imperative. So, yeah, there's a missed opportunity here for a lot of you. Some of you just need to just, you know, kill yourself and move on. Okay, don't keep running around acting the way you do because it just you just, you just miss out on opportunities. That's all. So, what's going on with this, um, this Pisces? Did I say Pisces? That was Gemini, sorry. That was Gemini's missing opportunities here. And the Pisces is um, invest. See if there's one, uh, one spend time together. Make an effort getting to know them emotional uh, investment. So, I don't know. They telling you, Karmic, like, get it together. Get it together and, you know, see if there's a chance here, okay? Because time is running out. So, see if you can invest yourself, especially emotionally, towards this person. Um, karmic Pisces. Because you're, you, you know you love this person, but you're acting so damn immature. Grow up. Grow up. Grow a pair. And once you do that, just, you know, make the effort. If it's not with this person, grow up and do it with someone else. Come out of this immature energy. Acting like you don't care. Not showing your emotions and things like that. They're saying on here, you know, show your emotions this time and see how, how it works for you. Could turn something around here for some of you Pisces. For some of you Pisces uh, karmics. Okay, Virgo. Karmic Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What's up? What's the message of spirit? Virgo karmic. What's the message? There you go. 
liar dude what L R L A R liar dude I think that's what it's saying <laughs> Lair dude all right <laughs> love yourself enough to accept only the best let go of the wrong person <laughs> be comfortable being alone yeah so so we you know like i said for these low vibrational karmic virgos y'all play too many games and this game keeps replaying re this is your strategy on relationships and it's got to stop this got to stop you know you got to stop being in fear to where it makes you do these type of things you got to get out of you know uh if you're feeling like having low self-esteem because this something triggers you to do this stuff and it and it's a pattern i'm hearing spirit say this is a pattern that you do this is every time you get in a relationship or it, you know these games and stuff spirit is like look love yourself learn to love yourself learn to, to be no be to, to be by yourself some of y'all so insecure you'll go out there and mess with anything and all that and and and, and then you end up in a, in a tizzy okay you end up in a tizzy Learn to be to yourself, you know, uh, learn to love yourself. That's what spirit is saying. Come on, dude. That's what it's saying. Okay. Sagittarius. <clears throat> Sagittarius karmic, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Sagittarius karmic. Mm, escape artist so are you a runner all right <laughs> you sabotage a lot of relationship uh, may sabotage and to avoid hurt yeah you run you run all the time Sagittarius karmic you like to run too much when things when the heat gets up you run when it get when the when the when the chips fall you run that's not the way to handle any type of relationship running away ain't gonna solve nothing so you know you're afraid um, to be loved some people are afraid some people do run away from love they're afraid to be loved because they don't know what love's about like I said for some of these people they, they play games and tactics because they're afraid they want to have control over the whole situation because they're afraid um, that if they get if they fall for something or someone it's going to make them feel uncomfortable because they don't know what love is they think sex is love they have a lot of insecurities it's people like that been hurt a lot so what they do is run away from shit you know if there starts to be emotional emotions involved that they start to feel something or the other person start to feel something they'll run the fuck away and not even tell you what it is and that's very toxic as well very toxic you don't handle stuff like that you're gonna run and you're gonna you're gonna meet up with the right person when they're gonna be a fucking they're gonna be the devil they're gonna be you you are going to always run into yourself. The actions, the low vibrational things that you do to other people, is always going to come up in your face. And it's going to come like how you come. All right? Like how you disguise yourself. Somebody going to creep up in your action. And that's the devil. They, they, know, you're, they know how you are. And that's how they're going to present themselves. They know how to get you. They're going to present their, yourself to yourself, and that's you're going to be dealing with in that relationship, you know, until you stop these shenanigans. You're going to always run into yourself every single time. The shit that you do, somebody going to come along and do the same shit to you, possibly worse than what you do. That's how you, that's why spirit does things like so you can wake the fuck up. That's that's what it's about. You're supposed to learn, not clam up, not resort to you know stupid shit. Seven of Swords. See, that's what I'm saying. You know, just as you deceive someone, someone is gonna deceive you too. You know, somebody got some knives to put in your back, just like you got knives to put in somebody else's back. Somebody got them for you too. All right, somebody got them for you too. And this King of Pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy. Maybe this is the one that's getting backstabbed here, all right? Or this is the backstabber. 
doesn't necessarily have to be, okay? The chariot here, okay? So this is about uh, victory and moving forward here, okay? It could be a cancer. The world card, okay? Moving forward. Somebody's moving on from uh, deception. A lot of you are moving on from this deceiving, deceptive person who stabbed you in the back, done you wrong. Any of these karmics, okay? It could be. Um... It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Somebody could be leaving a Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra due to deception and backstabbing uh, to be on their own. You know, like I said, moving forward with the chariot. Somebody could be buying a new car. Somebody could be taking a trip. Maybe it is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Uh, and moving forward, you know, like leaving people, places, and things behind, like starting it all over again. A new beginning. That's what the world brings, new beginnings. I feel like this energy is for you collective. You know, these people who backstabbed you and hurt you here, whether it's these signs or not, uh, but that's what spirit is bringing out the most as I ask for whoever's re uh, viewing this video. You're leaving a, a person who um, backstabbed you. There was a fox. You see those that those two foxes on the back of their jacket. They were disguising themselves. All the while, they were they were backstabbing you. They were hiding their true self. Okay, but they were being fox. They were being a clever person, and you like bossed up here. It's like you're you're very grounded and secure and stuff. So you're moving forward, all right, you know, and you're, you know, crossing over. You're starting a new life for yourself, collective, from these karmics. <clears throat> yeah, this person is, like, at a standstill now. Like, you're not even speaking to this person with the Two of Swords. You made your decision. You had to shut your heart down. You had to close your eyes. It was like you didn't want no distractions to help you make the decision. So you just you just cut it off. This is a clean cut here with the Two of Swords. It's like no more decisions. You already made the decision. You use your head over heart too. That's what the Two of Swords represents. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And we have the Magician in the, in the reverse. So you might be dealing with a Virgo... Uh, Gemini and they're both they both came out here in this reading as a karmic for whoever these karmics are I'm not saying they all I'm not saying everybody is sign is like this I said I asked spirit what sign is the karmics because we got I don't care who who or what there's karmic people out there regardless of they sign but I just asked that because it may relate to some of you um a Gemini Virgo energy here you're releasing yourself from a manipulator period point blank a trickster a backstabber a, a sly cunning uh, person somebody who does things like on a sneaky sneaky tip y'all been dealing with somebody who is very very sneaky and they they are very clever as well they you they use their mastery which is the magician the wrong way because they upright, they could be a very intent. They, could, they got them tools on the table. They know exactly what to do with them as long as you use it in a positive way. But they don't do that. They don't use their energy in a positive They use their smartness, their wits, their, and they turn it around and use it in a devilish way, a manipulative way. Seven of Swords. The Empress. The Empress? The Emperor. Uh, Aries for some of you. And the Three of Swords. So, with this sneaky, sly, slick person here, you bossed up on. And now they're heartbroken. Look at this. Y'all bossed up on, y'all, you, you know, you, <laughs> you bossed up on this person that thought they were so fucking clever. I don't know. It's almost like checkmate to me. You guys won because now they're in the they're in broken heart status here with the three of swords. This person who may have been slick and sly and sneaky with a third party and had you trying to have you in the middle of it without your knowledge. So now they're going through a betrayal and a heartbreak with the three of swords. 
possibly with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. They got their heart broken while they was trying to play games and looking at you like they was going to do something to you. And the fool card, yeah. You pulled your you you know you got your stuff together. You already know that. You 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 kind of like very grounded, like you stay grounded and humble throughout this whole situation, and now you're just moving forward with the fool card. You're taking a chance, you're starting a new beginning, as we've seen here. But I'm gonna clarify it. Spirit was this chariot. Thank you, spirit, for the messages. Thank you. We got two and three. Nah. 5506 on the clock if that means anything y'all write that down we got the four of cups and the six of disc <laughs> somebody's moving forward in victory here not that's you collective you're moving forward in victory you may be dealing with a cancer or you could be a cancer sun moon rising venus and we got the four of cups cancer pisces scorpio so you know like i said it looks like some Somebody is going through, somebody don't like the fact that you're moving on and moving them, uh, they're, they're, <clears throat> they're suffering with the four of cups, they're disappointed, they're unhappy, <clears throat> they're sulking, they're miserable, and the universe is looking at them, there's like a, they're out in the universe and the, they're kind of like peeping at them like, we try to tell you dude, they ain't showing their whole face, but they watching them, how disappointed they are. Um, and all they do is think about the all they think about is how they didn't give you like how they didn't reciprocate what whatever you were giving them they didn't reciprocate that so they disappointed that they that they done that with the four of cups and they disappointed pointing that you're moving forward in victory you won collective okay the world card please Fifty six forty one on the clock. Okay, so we got the Prince of Cups, which is the Knight of Cups in <clears throat> the World card. For some of you, there's somebody wanting to come back and give <clears throat> offer you love. This Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, <clears throat> uh, or trying to stop you from moving forward here because we got the World card. That's you moving forward crossing over leaving things and you know just starting a whole new life you're closing out this cycle but somebody don't want you to close it out because they're trying to bring you love here let me let me pull one more on that one it looks like you already going it look like somebody trying to stop you from leaving basically with this you know with this cup of love with trying to you know apologize or you know trying to bring you this cup of love the ace of cups no, I feel like y'all not going to do it because we got this person trying to stop you from going. You got the world here. You're choosing the world. You're choosing to close out this cycle and learn and love yourself and actually get your blessings because this, the Ace of Cups is about abundance, about loving yourself. It's about, like I said, abundance. That's what you're going for, your abundance collective for, for, for some of you. <sighs> Two of Swords. See a lot of forward moving. Like I don't these people, these karmics, man. Here we got the hermit with the two of swords. So some some of you already thought about this situation about this karmic. You've been thinking about it for a long time. Even probably when y'all was together, you was thinking about this shit. Like uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. And they may not have known that, but even when you was with this person, you was like, oh, I ain't feeling this shit. So, you, you know, kind of like stop speaking. This is like, you ain't even, some of y'all ain't even speaking to this person. Y'all ain't even on speaking terms. There's just nothing to really say. Let me pull one more on that. Somebody is not speaking and they already made up their mind with this two of swords. They, they chose their heart, their uh, head over heart. They made a head over heart decision for some of you. Yeah, the Prince of Wands. 
So this is the Knight of Wands. Yeah. Because maybe they've been indecisive. This Hermit card, which is a Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra with the Two of Swords, and this uh, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Somebody, yeah, somebody made up their mind. What the hell? <laughs> I couldn't see the screen went blank. It never done that before. So somebody decided to leave somebody who's very flighty. Somebody could be a player. They got player ways. They indecisive. They in and out. You know, I feel like you thought a long time, a long time about this situation, and I feel like you just made up your mind very quickly as well. For some of you, let me pull one more on that. I'm trying to figure out what is that. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You you walking away? Definitely walking away from a relationship with the four wands in reverse. You're walking away from this. Yep. Walking away. So we got one more here, which is the magician in reverse. Spirit, can I have the messages for this? This magician in reverse. Hell, I'm in my king or queen energy. I've been kind of cool and have right? Hmm. <laughs> Judgment and the three of discs. Somebody's being, uh, whoever, whatever this situation here with this magician in reverse, Virgo Gemini energy, they're being judged right now. They're in spiritual jail. Yeah, they're being called for the things that they've done. See them ravens and shit like that. See that? The, the, the spirit has come down. No, I'll talk about, you know, they, they come like a thief in a knife. I don't think this person was uh, ready for it, but it's happening due to putting you in a third party situation. Some, something about their dealings and their collaborations and stuff. They're getting judged for that. The way they've done you. Let me get one more on that. Thank you, Spirit. And they gave me two. <sighs> Strength card in reverse. Yeah, this person wasn't strong. Um, they were very weak. Some of y'all deal with this person was very, very weak. They fall for third parties five parties, six parties, but they're coming up for judgment now. The angels got them. Look. The angel like, uh-uh, get the fuck up out of here with all that, you know, dumb shit games you've been playing. Yeah, yeah, the most high is working on them right now. And God said so. It's like, look, yeah, I called my angels on your ass. That's right, I did. Because I didn't like how you was treating the collective here. Trickery. Third parties. Because you a coward. With the, the strength in reverse. You a coward. You don't know how to be strong. Stand up for your for yourself and your relationship that is pure and clean. That we, that you asked and called on me for. But now I'm calling on you for judgment. I'm not listening to nothing you say. You're going to have to be. You're going to have to serve karma for the shit that you've been doing here to the collective. That's what I'm feeling for somebody here in one of these people in these sections here. Yeah, we got people, backstabbers, all this stuff. It's judgment time right now. Let me get y'all some, um... Let me see what we got here. <laughs> I'm going to read my deck. Uh, you can go on my SD shop, shop and see all my decks here, okay? This is Love and love and Romance Answer Oracle. That's a messed up card. I messed it up. So I No, it ain't. Is this what I'm getting here? Here. Here we go. Pull the wrong damn card. I got to put these things together back up. God damn. Okay, so here we go. Spirit, what are the messages here with Simply Love's Love and Romance Oracle? What's the what, love and romance answer oracle? What's the messages? What what's the messages in this reading? What are the messages? Okay, that wanna come out. Yeah, there y'all there's a breakup here for a lot of you. There's a breakup and somebody's sad about it. And I have to say this too, for some of you, I feel like maybe a per, you might find out somebody may have deceased and you may not you might hear about this. 
because I'm uh, feeling that way because this person is like invisible, like a spirit, and, this, and somebody here is sad. So my condolences, if that is a, uh, uh, something going on, or you know, it may come up. This may actually be somebody passed over that you were involved with. Or for some, uh, most of you, it's just that somebody left the relationship, you or them. And there's sadness behind it. And, you know, yeah, they're hurt. They're hurt. Somebody here is hurt. Really, really bad. Look at these two cards. Somebody's really suffering over this breakup. There's a lot of crying in the morning going on here. Somebody's lost. They're feeling loss of a love. They really feel, somebody's feeling this uh, very badly. Sometimes, that's what I'm saying, you got to watch what you're doing because, you know, they were toxic. They were bringing on toxic uh, energy. This is not a, a healthy relationship. It's uh, poisonous. And maybe that's what you guys found out. But this person is really feeling it. They feeling the loss. They feeling it bad. And, you know, you done gained your power back now. I don't think you're ready to look back at nothing. You just like saying, you know, you took an L on this one. That's all. You took a, You got your power back. Because look how she's looking back at this devil. This toxic person. Look how she's looking at him. Like, mm, mm I had to leave. I gave my power back. I had to go. Now, now you the fuck hurt. Now you see how I felt? Now you see how I felt when you left me? I'm hearing that uh, channel message. Now you see how it felt when you left me? You thought you wasn't going to feel... You feel everything. Whatever you do to somebody, good or bad, you're going to have those same exact feelings. Remember that as you move on in life. Be careful. Because it don't make sense to have to go through life like this. Some of y'all got family fucking curses that ain't going to never go nowhere. It's going to always continue. Because don't nobody want to fucking learn. So, I feel like this is you, Collective. You got the power because you prayed. You had your ancestors. Look, ancestors looking on. Look, call on your ancestors. Some of y'all been calling on your ancestors. Some of y'all got some strong. Some You karmics here have to kind of realize you got to re Maybe this will help you to reflect and think about things before you do it because, you know, or even, you know, try to, you know, get more spiritual rather than being disconnected from, from the light. Because when you di disconnected from the light, you in total darkness here. You can't see shit. You start doing any damn thing, right? So you got to be careful because you don't know what l l leggage, what I'm trying to say. You don't know whose ancestors you messing around with. You don't know how powerful this person's ancestors are. You don't know. They, can't, they could be warriors. They could be like fighters. They could be killers. Anything. And, and, they, and, and they can look after their ones that's still behind them. And they will protect them in any means necessary. So you got to watch who's, who you're messing with. Because you don't know whose ancestors you're dealing with here. You won't be asking for hell for some of you. For messing with some of these uh uh collective you know the man the most high's child look here self-love yeah a lot of y'all got self you're celebrating yourself with self-love yeah yeah you're feeling good about yourself fixing yourself up taking your uh your uh spiritual baths saying your um uh you know, saying your affirmations daily, meditating, whatever it is that you guys do, you're doing it. And it's bringing on this self-love for yourself. It's like it's, it's boosting you up. It's bringing you uh, back to yourself again. Because I feel like a lot of y'all in this um, karmic situation, you kind of lost yourself. And not only in the, for some of y'all, it's not only the karmics, it's like people in general. Y'all give so much to people, and then you, you know, you kind of forget about yourself. You know, I'm that way too, and I, but I'm learning. I'm learning to, um, to balance that out. You know what I mean? And that's what it, what self love is all about. You balance your energies out, okay? Reminiscing somebody from the past is thinking about you guys, having memories. They miss you. And in divine timing here, love is worth the wait. 
So I feel like maybe for some of you are pulling yourself together here is what I'm saying. And I feel like you're uh, learning to love yourself for your next adventure. You know, because reminiscing, I'm uh, thinking of a past lover. So, you know, somebody could be thinking about you, collective. You could be thinking about some of y'all could be still thinking about this person. And some of you, you know, maybe in divine timing, it, it, you know, who those who will in the way, you know, things will happen the way it's supposed to. If it's supposed to happen, it will happen regardless. I don't see situations where people have left somebody and they went off and got married and everything, had kids, and next thing you know, this person from the past came back in their life and they went, you know, they was like, they was in love with the past person, even though they was married with kids and stuff. So, you know what? What's meant to be will be, y'all. Don't ever forget that. Yeah, this person may have healed themselves. Like, it may have took them a long time, but they came. Some of y'all, somebody coming back, and y'all already married or with somebody else and all that. And this person done fucking got their whole life together. And they coming to you. And uh, uh, for some of you, you never did stop loving this person. The only thing you stopped loving was yourself. So you end up healing yourself. And in the process, while you was healing, your twin, your twin flame was healing as well. And then y'all came back together, and voila, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Oop, there it is. So, you know, keep faith. Have faith in yourself here. Because everything's going to work out in divine timing. Yes, 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 yes. Some of you may travel. Some of y'all may have moved to another location, a lot of you. Some of you have to, or, or with somebody that you have to travel to see. Y'all probably go back and forth. You live, you know, at a distance from this person. And somebody here, uh, for some of y'all, is very over-emotional about you. They are in their freaking feelings. Definitely in their feelings. They may not show it to you. They may not be saying nothing. But they are in their feelings right now. Uh, and somebody is definitely manifesting. Somebody wants to manifest somebody back because they can't fight these feelings any longer for some of you. Uh, some of you, there, there's somebody still in, in, in a triangle, okay? Somebody got two, three people on the side or whatever, and you don't want to be bothered with that energy, okay? Some of y'all released yourself from being in a third party. Um, this person may be, yeah, this person here that you got yourself out of, out of with this, energy you got away from this person because they had you in a triangle they like this shit they like just one night stand they are one night stander they just want intimacy and they probably tied up with other people that's like that too this person will never have love they they might not have no daggone feelings being in, in situations like this they might not don't give a shit about nobody and i'm also hearing that um, for some of you, there's somebody coming back and all they want to do is have a relationship and, you know, and they may not even, t you know, they might tell you that, you know, try to con you or something like that, but all they want is an open relationship, which they need to open their mouth and say that instead of trying to con you into something that you may not want to be in. Maybe that's the problem why you ain't with them now. You know, somebody needs to find their fucking self. All right, somebody need to find out who the hell they are, what they want, and shit. Stop playing around with the freaking divine people. Stay in your own fucking lane. I think I put that in the video yesterday. Somebody need to stay in their own lane. Somebody wants somebody here just for comfort or, you know, money or you know the uh, status quo of it all. Somebody here is very, um, very, very um, materialistic. It's all about what it looks like on the outside or the appearances and somebody gets off on this type of shit. There's, yeah, I don't like this energy. Somebody gets off on this type of, it feeds their ego, but their ego like is, I don't know. It's not the same as what it was without you. You're some kind of competition or something that, and it's not a good competition. Nobody should be in competition with somebody they love. This is not a good thing. This is an ego-based thing. So some of y'all be careful of somebody coming back because they just may be trying to set you up here. You know, whether they want to hurt you for leaving them or, you know, there's something not right with some of you that somebody may come back with. So keep your spidey senses up. You know, some of you are going to get a, a, a mature woman or a mature man. This is my cousin, by the way, y'all. 
So, yeah. Some of you are getting uh, in a more uh, uh, mature relationship. Uh, we got wedding here. Some of you may be getting married as well. Some of you may be getting married. You may find out somebody got married with a mature man or woman. I'm, you know, it could be where you got ma matured and or found somebody mature and you're getting ready to get married to them. Uh, there's a message coming in for some of y'all, a surprise message that you're not expecting. And it could be from this mature man here, okay? Uh, a man of great love will be entering in your life, if not already. This person could already be there. It could be one of these karmics here that may be pulling their self together and coming back. You know, they want to send you a message of importance, whether they come see you, whether they text you, whether they call you. It could be about a commitment where it involves marriage for some of you because we got the mature man and the mature woman together. That's just for some of you. Some of you are going to be uninterested for some of you. You're going to be totally uninterested, like you're done. Somebody might want to come back and apologize. You look and see that. They're like, no, I don't want your flowers. I don't want nothing. I don't want to hear your conversation, nothing. And if some of you were wor wondering, some of you and some of somebody you've been dealing with uh, still loves you, it's a yes. Somebody wants to say yes to love. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody wants to say yes to love. Now, the player here is... This one coming back and you know you don't you know they a player you don't want nothing to do with them you don't want to hear from them or nothing you know they a manipulator they coming back to manipulate i'm going to get ready to close this out i think i've been talking too long y'all <laughs> okay again y'all going to get a surprise text it could be from this player because it come up but it's you know connecting i feel to this they're going to try to text you again, call you from a player. We got a player calling in here, we, okay, that want to hook back up with you. We got somebody here who is like, likes to be in um, uh, open relationships and try to put you in it and all that type of shit, okay? We got that, and we know that they toxic as fuck, okay? We got somebody who's really hurting over a breakup. Somebody, for some of you, somebody, this person that you know passed on. All right, they passed over. Somebody is like giving somebody an answer, a, a, a yes. Somebody's getting a yes here, okay, about love. Some people has grown and, you know, moved on here, all right? Somebody here is coming back with a message or some type of communication that they want to uh, be committed and married to someone. It could be this, they matured, they matured, somebody matured here. Or for some of you, it's just new love, okay, That because you done got your power back here, all right? Somebody is creating a manifestation. Somebody's trying to manifest you back. Somebody's all in their emotions and stuff, okay? Somebody's really in their emotions. And somebody, their ancestors are, you know, they're talking to their ancestors because somebody could be very emotional because maybe you've gone. Again, some of you are traveling long distance or somebody wants to travel to you. Uh, and you're having some type of faith or this other person is having faith because you moved on but they're all in their emotions and they reminiscing about you they thinking about you in the past some of you already you know moved on here you know you learn to love yourself you got love for yourself and in divine timing you know things are going to work out for you because you know you are healing you've healed yourself so there's the message for you guys um <laughs> I just, I don't know, I just wanted to do something different and hope Spirit keep allowing me to, you know, do some type of different type of spreads and things like that. And uh, uh, I want you to, you know, hit the, hit the like button on your way out, please, for me to, you know, hit the comment section, tell me how you like this reading, um, and maybe some suggestions and stuff, because, you know, these energies right now, everything is up in the air, everything is changing, you know, um, and a lot of the same energy is coming out. I know you guys get tired of hearing the same old, same old. But, you know, we have to read what spirit gives us. And, you know, you know, because some people, you know, maybe you've gotten over something. But maybe some other people still haven't. You know, because it's a circle. Everything circles around and stuff. That's why it comes out like this a lot. 
So, I love you guys. I wish you all love and light. Hit the comments. Share the video. Um, and subscribe to the channel. And I love you guys. Take care. Talk to you on the next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>